Good morning and welcome. On behalf of the Sacred Parish, Sacred Heart Parish, we would like to offer our condolences to the family, relatives, and friends of Teresa Jaramillo. This morning, we will be meditating on the five glorious mysteries of the Rosary. We ask that you join us in praying the Rosary, and you may kneel or sit during the Rosary. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. In Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born on Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day, he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, the, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection and everlasting life. Amen. for peace, hope, and love. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst once women, and blessed is thy fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in the now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world, world without end. Amen. And today, the glorious mysteries, the first, the resurrection. Jesus rose from the dead on the third day to reveal he is the Messiah, the Lord who redeems. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us on to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory, Glory be, be to the, the Father, and the Son, and, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, it's now, now and ever shall be a world of God. God. And amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The second mystery is the ascension. Jesus rose to the Father to sit next to him. The great I am Jesus will be your judge. So by Jesus' ways we are to live. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea su nombre. Venganos sea su reino. Hágase, Señor, su voluntad aquí en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. Mas no nos dejes caer en tentación. Líbranos de todo mal. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señora, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, y en eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señora, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, y llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señora, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, y llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señor, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, y en eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señor, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, y en eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señor, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, y en eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señor, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, y en eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señor, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, y en eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señor, por nosotros los pecadores, Ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the powers of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need thy mercy. Amen. The third mystery, the descendant of the Holy Spirit, the blessed man, 
the Blessed Mother is with the apostles praying in the synagogue, synagogue for her son to send his spirit into the hearts of them. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As it was in the beginning, it's now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need thy mercy. Amen. The fourth mystery is the Assumption of Mary, Blessed Virgin Mary. The Blessed Virgin Mary is taken body and soul to heaven, where choirs of angels sing her praises. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea su nombre, venga nos a su reino, hágase Señor su voluntad aquí en la tierra como en el cielo. El Padre nuestro de cada día, danos los hoy, Señor, y perdona nuestras deudas, así como nosotros perdonamos a nuestros dolores. Y no nos dejes caer en tentación, ni danos y guardanos de todo mal. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señora, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, y eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señora, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, y eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señora, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, y en eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. 
Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señora, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señora, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señora, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señora, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señora, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señora, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señora, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's now, and ever it shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth mystery, the Blessed Virgin Mary is crowned Queen of Heaven and of Earth, and of Earth. The Blessed Virgin Mary is crowned Queen for she is always victorious. She is crowned by her son as his mother, by the Holy Spirit and his most chaste spouse, by God and the Father and his beloved daughter. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 
and bless us the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. to thee we, we stand up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn, turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes in mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ our Lord. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech thee, that while meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. And may the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto Teresa Jaramillo, O Lord, and let your perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, you can be seated now, and Marianne Jaramillo will deliver the eulogy. Thank you. I'm T uh, Teresa's sister-in-law, Marianne, and um, Teresa was born on May 23, 1933, in Lovatos, Colorado, to David and Petronila Jaramillo. As a young child, Teresa was raised by her maternal grandparents, Jose Pablo and Maria Teresa, on the family homestead near her parents' home. She was the eldest of the 10 children and could often be found helping her grandma, Maria, with household chores and as a young woman helping to tend to the daily necessities of life. As Teresa matured into adulthood, she helped many jobs, host some of which including farm planting, store clerk, being a nanny, and an administrative assistant. Teresa was most proud of the time she spent helping to raise Nancy. Although she had, although she had children Although she never had children of her own, Nancy was her daughter. During her life, Teresa enjoyed spending time involving herself with as many hobbies as possible. 
This including knitting, crocheting, reading, volunteering, and, a, and rosary making, just to name a few. She was always on the go, whether with work, school, or being involved with family. As a non-traditional student at Adams State, she enjoyed attending class, making new friends, and most of all, learning. Her ultimate goal was to earn her degree in business and accounting. As the eldest of the family, she always saw the importance of family. She could be found at the many family functions leading, lending or helping, a, or simply by offering up an ear to listen. Teresa spent a great deal of time helping to care for her other siblings during times of Ill, illness as well. She was on the go. Get this. To answer questions about family history as well as in important dates. She always attempted to live a simple and humble life filled with religion and faith. We will truly miss Terry, as we all knew her Terry. I'd like to thank everybody for being here. Terry would be so, and I'm sure she's what, is so happy because she's went home to our Lord. She was very, um, she was very, uh, with her religion, very devout. <laughs> and if you went to her home, you could see that. Uh, we especially want to thank her nephew, Jesse Mark, and his wife, Kristen, and Jeremy, their son. They were there for Terry, helping her when we couldn't be there when she was sick. And we were very blessed to have them. Terry, um, since, we, when, since we first got married, I was always Terry's sister. She always was so kind to me and loving, and I surely will miss her. Thank you. Many years ago, Grandpa David Jaramillo, who was a very devout penitente, taught this oración to a good family friend, Tito Chacon, and made a big impression on him and Tia Teresa. So they made a promise to each other that whoever passed away first, the one who would recite it, would one would recite it for them at their own at their funeral. Unfortunately, Tito was unable to be here with us today, so I was asked to pray this oración on his behalf. En el monte de Santa Lucia estaba la Virgen María con su librito de oro en su mano, que la mitad rezaba y la mitad leía. Pasó su hijo santísimo y le dice, ¿qué haces, madre mía? ¿Qué ha de hacer, hijo mío? Que anoche soñé un sueño que en la cruz más alta te vi crucificado. Si ha de ser, madre mía, las puertas de San Acacio abiertas verías. Las puertas del infierno jamás las verás. El que esta oración rezaré por tres veces el día. El que sabe esta oración y no la enseña. El que la oye y no la aprende. El día del juicio sabrá lo que esta oración contiene. Amén.
Welcome to Sacred Heart Church. I'm Father Carlos Alvarez, pastor. In the waters of baptism, Teresa Aramillo died and rose with Christ. May she now share with him eternal glory.
Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened. May our hope of resurrection for your departed servant, Teresa, also find new strength through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I invite you to be seated as our electors come forward, please. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. In those days, Daniel mourned and heard his word of the Lord. At that time, there shall arise Michael, the great prince, guardian of your people. It shall be a time unsurpassed in distress since nations began until that time. At that time, your people shall escape everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some shall last, shall live forever. Others shall be everlasting horror and disgrace, but the wise shall shine brightly like the splendor of the firmament. And those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God.
Hristos en lo que te dio. reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we know that our, our earthly dwelling, a tent, should be destroyed. We have a building from God, a dwelling not made with hands, eternal in heaven. We are always courageous, although we know that while we are home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight, yet we are courageous, and we would rather leave the body and go home to the Lord. Therefore, we aspire to please him, whether we are at home or away, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each may receive recompense according to what he did in the body, in the body whether good or evil the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God.
Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you. When Jesus arrived in Bethany, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, only about two miles away. Many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And he who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There's a family altar that Tree says the oldest of ten kept until these last few years, and I'm told that Uncle David has it now in his home in Oregon. To me, that's that's an important, absolutely important um, object, if you will, if we can call it an object. Why is that? Well, Holy Mother Church calls us to not to be nice, not to be good, not to be pleasant, but Holy Mother Church calls us to be holy. Holy Mother Church calls us to be saints. And in the Diocese of Pueblo, we've been focusing on being missionary disciples for these past five plus years, and now in this month, earlier in this month, Eucharistic missionary disciples. So what does all that mean? What that means is that we have such a love for Jesus in the Eucharist that everything flows to the Eucharist and everything flows from the Eucharist. So the Jaramillo family with the family altar understood that and has lived that for generations. And I hope and pray that it will continue for many generations. So when we consider that, 
we think about the fact that we are called to an intimate, personal communion with Jesus, and through Jesus with the Father and the Holy Spirit as well. Pope Benedict XVI, throughout his pontificate, said that all of us should have a personal Pentecost. This pouring out of the Holy Spirit in our lives that calls us to live lives of holiness, lives of sanctity. So we think about that in the context of what we heard in sacred scripture this morning. We have basically a dialogue between Martha, Jesus' good friend, I believe since Jesus was a boy, a child, and now they were gathered together in the context of Lazarus' death. Lazarus' death. And so in this exchange of words between friends, Jesus is revealing to her and to us basic truth. I am the resurrection and the life. Martha's response is, you are the Christ, you are the anointed one of God, the son of God, the one who is coming into the world. And that's why we're here this morning, to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and the sure and certain hope of resurrection for our sister, our aunt, our sister in the Lord Teresa, who lived the sacrificial life of Jesus in her personal relationship with Jesus and all the many good works that flowed from that servant heart of sacrifice from the altar of God in the churches where she worshiped over the years and in her home with that altar reminding her of the need for daily sacrifice and daily service to that same Lord. We heard in our first reading from the book of the prophet Daniel, the wise shall shine brightly. When we baptize a child, ideally infants before they reach their sixth month of life, or even children or teens or even adults, we call them neophytes. They are new lights of the church. But the prophet Daniel tells us that the wise will shine brightly. Not just that first year, but every year of their life. That is a reminder to us that God mysteriously dwells in us. And so God doesn't want us just to be nice, not just to be good. God wants us to be holy. God calls us to be saints, Eucharistic missionary disciples in the Diocese of Pueblo or wherever we live because the Eucharistic revival is a national movement. Last year, the focus was in our home diocese or archdiocese. This year, from the Feast of Corpus Christi forward to the next Feast of Corpus Christi, the focus is on the parish level. The following year, it'll be at a national level. And then the year after that will be a missionary year, a year where we go out in mission. In our second reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, we hear that each of us may receive recompense according to what we did in the body. And that word body is a rich, choice of words by St. Paul. It means our physical body composed of six trillion cells, each of us, but it also means within the body of Christ, 
what we do in our families, what we do in the church, what we do with our neighbors, our friends, our classmates, the community in general. And I've heard from many people that Teresa really was a servant of the body of Christ, beginning with her nine younger siblings, two sisters and seven brothers, and extending to Nancy and to all of her nieces and nephews, and those with whom she worked, and the Legion of Mary, as we see here, the Sacred Heart League, as well as the Holy Family Apostolate here at Sacred Heart in Alamosa. So it's in that spirit that we should be inspired uh, by the words that we heard after the eulogy. She and her brother were inspired by the devotion of the penitent brothers and their wives, the auxiliadores, that they were committed to the service of Jesus Christ in the local morada, in the local community, so that families could build a life based on Christ, even if at some time, from about 1820 to about 18, 1821, to 1851 in our valley and in our region where there were no clergy, no religious. It's the, that generation, those ancestors that kept the Catholic faith alive in the home through prayer, through devotion, through moral lives. They really lived that call to holiness, that call to sanctity that the family altar of the Jaramillo represent. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as in the earth, for shall be Amen. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for his church, confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus. We join our prayers to his. In baptism, Teresa received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead her over the waters of death. Lord, in your mercy, our sister Teresa was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome her into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Those who trusted in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. The family and friends of Teresa seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our sister Teresa. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, 
Hear the prayers of the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and the voices of your people, whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ, and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let you to be seated as our gifts of bread and wine are presented. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. Praise and glory of his name. Our good and good is holy church. 
Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servant Teresa may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended, and when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. body Catholics to kneel. Everyone else may be seated, please. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this 
in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Your cruz, your resurrection. Your cruz, your resurrection. No Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to a second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, patroness of our diocese, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Stephen our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you've summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Teresa, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he should die, will live. Jesus taught this. Jesus lived this. The fruits of his eternal sacrifice on the cross of Calvary are in the sacred altar, this Eucharistic table. He offers us his body, blood, soul, and divinity so that our lives may be altars of service to him, our family, our neighbors, our friends, our community, and the world. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. We are called to sanctity, holiness. The third commandment calls us to regular worship of God. The precepts of the Catholic Church emphasize that as well, that we should participate in Holy Mass every Sunday and Holy Days of Obligation, except of course when we're sick or when we're caring for someone who's sick. Holy Communion is reserved for practicing Catholic who live, who live the third commandment in that precept of the church. If you're not able to receive Holy Communion today, you still may come forward with your right hands on your left shoulders, your left hands on your right shoulder, and receive a blessing and offer that blessing as a spiritual communion for the eternal happiness, the eternal joy of Teresa.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even though he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will not die forever. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O oh Lord, that your servant Teresa, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Trusting in God, we pray together for Teresa. And now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Teresa again and enjoy her friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. Yes. 
Let us pray into your hands, Father of mercies. We commend our sister Teresa in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Teresa in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. In peace, let us take our sister to her place of rest. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.